my name is Alicia Cota. This is week two of Bio 225. This is a continuation of the aseptic technique lab and culturing microbes. In this lab, I will be continuing um, after growing my cultures in broth. I have uh, all three broths that had, are nutrient cultures that have been labeled and there is now growth. If you look closely into the tubes, um, you can see the turbidity in all of the, the microbes. I've shaken them so that you can see the growth from the bacteria and the microbes in all of them. In this experiment, what I'm going to be doing is isolating individual colonies. So I'll be creating a street plate for each microbe. I've already completed the first two. And then I will be showing you how I'm going to do the last one, which is the E. coli. So um, first you have your inoculating um, loop, which is this tool right here. Then to use the aseptic techniques. So you want to make sure that the, the loop is dry of the alcohol. This is just for no contamination. So what you're going to do for the broth is... First, I'm going to make sure it's sterile by uh, waving the lid or the top of the tube over the flame. Okay, then I will put my inoculating tube loop into the, the culturing broth and then flame again to keep it sterile, no contamination. And with the loop, I am going to create a streak plate. It consists of four quadrants. So first I will start at the top and go straight back and forth. Then I will take it back into the alcohol, let it sit, and then let it dry for 20 seconds. And then after it dries, I'm going to go from the first quadrant of my microbes that I got from and then go into a second streak. Then once again, put it in the alcohol for, let it dry for 20 seconds. And then I will go into the third. And I'm also keeping the lid over it so it doesn't have any contamination. I'm going from the first quadrant to the second and then grabbing from the second quadrant to the third. And then from the third quadrant, I'll be um, going into the fourth. And then this should be creating um, the isolation of colonies for the microbes. So this is the last one. Okay. And then this will be going into the 10% bleach. Then with the three um, plates, I will be placing them in my um, incubation plate or incubation location for a period of 48 hours. And then from there I should be able to see the microbial growth. For my broths, I will be placing them in the refrigerator for any future experiments that I have. And that's all. Thank you.